Okay, today I'll be showing you how to make your own Half-Life 2 custom skins or your own custom Source game skins in, you know, Source. So this applies to any game. This means Half-Life 2. This means Gary's Mod. This means Counter-Strike Source. Counter-Strike Source. Can Global Offensive. Whatever. Any Source game. Any Source game. Not Gold Source though. It applies uh, similar, similar rules, but that's going to be for a different video. Okay, so basically the programs that you're going to be going to be needing today is GCFscape, BTF Edit, and Photoshop. Um, Photoshop, I recommend if you don't have Photoshop, I recommend you cracking it or downloading it or getting it from someone, because it's gonna make your job hell of a lot easier for texturing. GCFscape and VTF Edit, I'll link those two programs below. It will be making the exporting and importing of files way more easier and will be required for this uh, tutorial and for this uh, type of texturing stuff. Okay, so what you want to use is GCFscape, open that up and go and locate the game, the, the game that you want to make edits to. So in this case, it will be Half-Life 2. Go into Common, Steam... Program file Steam, Steam Apps Common, and find Half Life 2 uh, or any other source game. If you want to edit Counter Strike Source, go ahead. But it'll it'll just be under different names, of course. The files just slightly different, but same you know same rules, same principles. Okay, for for Half Life 2, go into Half Life 2, HL2, and what you're going to be finding is a Valve Pack file named HL2 underscore textures underscore DRI. Okay, so basically, uh, this is where all the textures are located for the weapon models. If you want to, uh, for, uh, for Counter-Strike Source, it's going to be CSS underscore textures underscore there. But in this case, HLT, open that up. Okay, so right here, you're going to be finding the textures that you want to edit. So that, for example, we want to edit the, um, the crowbar, the crowbar weapon. Go into materials, models, and... Um, weapons okay so these are where all your weapons are located your weapon texture files okay so let me explain what the v and w is say okay v means view model which is what you're going to be seeing in hand so v crowbar this texture is uh what you're going to be seeing on your hand when you hold the crowbar w is what other players can see it's basically the world model basically um the model for third person views viewing people viewing things so yeah W uh W is for world, B is for in hand. Okay. Crowbar. Go into crowbar. So if you're editing the crowbar, go into crowbar and export these files. Desktop. I already have mine, I'll replace them. Okay. Okay, so let me explain these files real quick. Okay, so you do not want to use the textures that are this color. This color right here. These are pretty much for the 3D look of the crowbar, and we'll not be messing with these yet. That's for a different video. But all we want to use is the crowbar. These regular uh, looking textures, not these uh, the bright purple ones that I was uh, showing. Okay, so these are the textures that you want to use. Any Just use any normal textures. Okay, now time to, to edit this stuff. So basically, go into files, export, and to export as a TGA file, a target file. I already have one on my desktop right here. Replace that. Okay. So this is what we're going to be using to edit the skins in Photoshop. Okay. So what you want to do is go into Photoshop. I already have uh, one right here, but I'll make a new one for the purpose of this video. Okay. Open. Find the target file. C L Y C uh, Y L. Okay. So right here in Photoshop, you can do whatever on it. Add pictures, recolor it, retexture it. You know, do whatever. This is your canvas right here. But in this video today, making things simple, we're going to be changing the color of the crowbar. So you and saturation you can change it to um, I guess this purplish color today okay and all you want to do is go into save as after you're done editing of course 
going to uh, save as and you want to save as Targa again replace it on desktop yes okay so where where is it right here it is okay now you want to um, open this in VTF edit not really close okay all right you're gonna want to open this in VTF edit import Crowball uh, CYL yes it's okay now this right here is what we're looking at so basically what you want to do this is the texture right crowbar CYL you want to save this as the corresponding texture file to replace this skin pretty self-explanatory so want to save this or export this as Solana. save this as so this on desktop, we're going to be replacing the crowbar, not CYL, to replace the texture in general for that part of the crowbar. So replace, there you go, close that. Alright, and what you're want, uh, going to be do, now doing is you're uh, making a folder that is based off this materials thing right here. So. Make a folder named materials. Rename materials. Inside the uh, folder, you're going to be creating uh, a models folder. You're basically going to be uh, routing, copying this whole uh, folder setup. Models. Models. And underneath models, our corresponding folder which is our crowbar which we're doing weapons this should be pretty self-explanatory weapons and within that folder is let's see v underscore crowbar v underscore crowbar okay new v underscore crowbar after that um let's see is are these VTF files which we have which we now have on the desktop hopefully you uh, guys have this edited and yeah just place this stuff in here and you're all set to go now to use this in game all we want to do is go into uh, actually first of all you should make a, fo an, a separate folder first a folder and name it uh, whatever blue uh, purple crowbar purple crowbar purple crowbar make a folder for your skin mod uh, don't forget that and place it in here whatever we just made and yeah we're ready to use this in game so steam steam apps common half life two ho two Okay, after finding the HL2 folder in the Half-Life 2 folder, after common C maps, you're going to be placing your skin mod, Purple Crowbar, what we've made, into the Customs folder. And basically what the game is going to do is read this as a texture replacement. It's going to be reading materials, models, met weapons, B Crowbar, and find these textures to use in game instead of using the ones in you know the normal textures right here and yeah after that all we do is load up the game okay after loading up the game new game root canal just to see the skin and yeah your crowbar should be purple instead of red so yeah hope you like the tutorial leave a like comment subscribe and yeah enjoy your new skins on source games this applies to any source game so yeah see you guys in the next one